in this video, I'm going to be buying the absolute cheapest knockoff Apple products that I can find. Smartwatch 8 Ultra for iPhone for £6.79. I'm not going for quality or usability. This doesn't deserve a good unboxing experience. I just want to see how cheeky Teemu, the Wish version of Wish, if you will, can be with its no brand knockoffs. Will I be pleasantly surprised? Or will these be straight up awful? And of course, the age old question. How's the unboxing? What do I want to look for? There's an iPhone 15 coming out soon, or maybe by the time this video is out, it's already been revealed. So let's have a look for an iPhone. But there are no phones here. Let me find an actual phone. Okay, a lot of wireless chargers. Half the website isn't loading right now, which is always a good user experience. I'm not seeing any phones here. Let's have a look for a watch. Okay, yep, there's plenty here. There's one that looks like an Apple Watch Ultra for £6.79. Smartwatch 8 Ultra for iPhone, Android, iOS, cell phones, men and women's watches, 1.92 inch large screen display, calls, information, alerts, heart, yep, you get the picture. And that user experience looks terrible. The display is lagging like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna add that to the cart. What do you think, Robin, orange or black? Let's go orange. Let's go orange, okay. Robin, what's an Apple product you would want? Apple AirPods. Apple AirPods, okay. The official title is 2023, the new three generation full function BT 5.0 low power non-radiation wireless headset. Apparently it's suitable for the elderly, children, and young people. I thought children were young people, but okay. Yeah, whatever, right, add to cart. Okay, we've got an Apple Pencil knockoff. £14.97, down from £37. Charges with USB-C as well. Kind of strange that our most expensive product right now is what is meant to be the cheapest, but there we go. Paying six pounds for a watch and 14 pounds for a stylus. Headphones, you're wearing, he he's wearing headphones. So we've got the AirPods Pro. Let's see if they have any AirPods Max. I think the best we're gonna get here is the silicon case, which looks utterly dreadful. Wow, yeah, let's do it. 10 pounds 34. All right, so our basket right now is totaling 37.58, which, you know, is, it's pretty high, so I don't want to lose any of these products because I'm spending quite a lot of money here. So I'm going to look up some AirTag knockoffs. These kind of look like the Nuttail tags that I featured in one of my previous videos where I was getting lost around Glasgow. And if you want to see that, then it's up here somewhere. The recording in this section got a little bit messy, but in a nutshell, my cameraman, Robin, found an even cheaper stylus for mere 88 pence and some supremely knockoff AirPods Max for £7.78. And because TeamU operates on discounts and bundles, we got a £20 voucher, leaving our grand total for this mad shopping spree at £36.12. Apparently, altogether, we saved over £122. Yay? Okay, so we're back a week or so later. I, don't, I can't even remember when I last recorded this. And the products have arrived much earlier than expected in this very bright orange packaging. And you can tell it's from Timu uh, because it has the logo there. I don't know how on earth I'm going to break into this. So I'm just going to use a saw because why not? Oh no, there we go. There we go. Well, let's say one thing they package it very well. What is this? Have you seen this? Well, it's it's off to a good start. Okay, that is the AirPods case, the knockoff AirTag. These are the. Okay, very well protected, very well packaged. Um, AirPods. Wow, these are actual AirPods on the cover as well. It's not because on the the app for the website you saw the actual knockoff product. These are straight up just pictures of AirPod colors that don't exist. Fantastic. That's the, one of the styluses. And here is the, what is this, six pound Apple Watch or something? That's the one I think I'm looking forward to the most. If there's anything else. Oh, no, here's the stylus, wow. That, I don't even need to review that, it's just a, a stick and Nothing else. Pen first. Unboxing experience. It's not even a box. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, what am I supposed to say about this? It's a lump of plastic. Okay, knock off air tag time. 
Mm, that's all there is to it. Okay, there's the tag. You know, it doesn't look terrible. Let's see what else is in here first. Constructions. Okay, let's see any broken English. Press the function button once to turn it on. It should it should a ring ring chime indicating it is powered on. It's close. It's almost perfect English, but it's it's not, and that makes it funny. Similar to the actual air tags, there's a wee pull tab here. And that Wow. That turns it on, and then I assume I just Press the function button once to turn it on, should be a ring ring chime. Open the Find My app. So it thinks it connects to the Find My network, that's interesting. And sure enough, it did. When I was unboxing, I forgot that third party accessories can in fact be added to Find My. Name the item, I'm gonna call it Robin. And then I will plant it on him so I can track him. Finishing setup. You know what, I'm gonna leave that to finish setup. Uh, what else in the box? There's a, a pry tool for some reason. I assume that's so we can get the battery out. I'm not gonna do that right now. Lanyard, and yeah. Okay, so, really quick unboxing score for that one. Oh, the stylus doesn't get an unboxing score because, well, there is no box. The tag? Doesn't fare much better. We have foam, we have a squeaky unboxing experience, and we have absolutely nothing of interest. Mid all round. Okay, next up are the knockoff AirPods Pro. These will be interesting. I've tried knockoff AirPods Pro before, and you know what? They didn't sound too bad. The left one stopped working after a while, but other than that, it was okay. The packaging is absolutely awful, but it's made of cardboard, so I'll give them that. And that's where the niceties end. That's... How much were these again? You know what, though? They're not bad. Let's get this awful, awful... Awful packaging, but they're not bad. Get off. Get off. Wow, these were bad. The design is unique. Not really sure why they chose a multicolored checkerboard for the design, but it's more interesting than plain white, at least. Inside, though, yeesh. Plastic everywhere. Cheap, nasty, pointless plastic. They don't feel all that different. The way you can usually tell with these is the magnet and the build quality of the hinge, but there's basically no flex to these and that's a good sign. So that's not bad, but how do they function? I would test on the phone, but it's still finishing setup for the AirTag. We can test the AirTag later. They do give us possibly the smallest lightning cable I've ever seen. A horrible voice inside. They weigh nothing by the way, these are... <sighs> oh, they're cheap. They connected, then I got a warning saying that they couldn't verify if they were genuine or not. Okay, so when I put these in, usually with AirPods or whatever, you get a sound or even a voice for knockoff ones in both of them at the same time. Uh, in these, it was one voice in here, then another voice in here, so I had two voices at different times just going in my head, and it sounded like I was going insane, which I think I am. Mm. So, they don't sound terrible. I really couldn't tell the difference between them and genuine ones, if I'm honest. But the volume in the left one is louder than the one in the right. I don't know. Don't know what to make of them. Next up, BP Stylus Pen. So, it's probably what they used on oil rigs or something. Okay. <sighs> There's a lot of plastic in these, I'm not really a fan. Here's the pen. Here's the, the packaging, which is just foam and and, and more foam for, for no reason, really. I don't think this is very delicate. So, not scoring so high in the whole economy or material section, I think. And another very short charging cable, but it's USB-C. Okay, that's a little bonus, USB-C. I'm always a fan of that. Oh, that's weird. The USB-C plug is right on the edge here, if you can see that. Yeah, USB-C. I love it. There's a couple of extra tips, which is a nice touch. And get, get, get off. Get off. Thank you. It must be something to do with cost cutting, having a cable that small, because they're teeny. Okay, pen is decent. How was the unboxing score? Again, mid. The design really is nothing of value, and the materials are as cheap and nasty as ever. Foam at least feels nicer than plastic, so I'll give it that, but yeah, that's about it. Let's get this out of the way for one of the main events. I'm looking forward to this one and then the AirPods. The Apple Watch Ultra, sorry. The Apple Watch Ultra 8. Ultra. 
Okay, I see how they got away with the title. It's called the Watch 8 Ultra Low Power Consumption. Fair dues. Okay, okay, that's, that's what it looks like. A little, I think that might be uh, compatible, at least with actual Apple Watches. Here's the band. It's made of rubber. It's a good start. It's not terrible. It's definitely cheapish feeling, but that's not bad. And here is... It's got an okay weight to it, I think. I think at first glance it could definitely pass as a knockoff. Digital crown on the side is very much not a digital crown. It does have an action button and some lies on the bottom saying it's a watch ultra but no apple logo how do i turn it on oh hello wow that was quick now this is the part i'm looking forward to because in the reviews on team U, the refresh rate on this was atrocious let's yeah oh, oh, i don't even know what I'm, as a horse okay as a horse you know what? It's kind of not dreadful. I don't know anything about any sports modes. There's a pedometer. Thing. Okay, okay, okay. We got the Apple Watch menu, which doesn't move. It just updates, I guess. Okay, I can even zoom in and out. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Wow. What happened there? Oh, I can set it to sleep and wake. You know what? For a kid or something, I'm not going to lie. That's actually not terrible. Phone from your watch. It's got motion record, movement record, your heart rate monitor, blood pressure monitoring, physical training, sleep detection. If it has all of that, which either it does and it's terrible or it straight up doesn't, how they got this down to, was it six pounds I paid for this? I don't have a clue. Cool. I don't wear watches, I'm not very good at putting them on. It, it's, it, it's not terrible. However, the unboxing, as per usual with all of this, um, absolutely terrible. So let's see those scores. Once again, mid, some cardboard, needless plastic, not too much waste and nothing special at all really. Points for the slip cover though. Moving on. I love the packaging. I just, I love the, the care and attention that's gone into it. You can tell that they really wanted this to be the premium experience. So they uh, absolutely battered it to death and slapped some plastic on it. I might need the saw again for this one. Yeah, dusty. This doesn't deserve a good unboxing experience. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, Robin, do you want to have a feel of these? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, there. Wow. There, there, there's, I don't even know what to say. There's, I don't think there's anything inside of these. I think it was actually Dank Pods who gave these a review and he, I think he was trying to get these off or something and ended up just shattering the whole thing because that's, that's hollow as anything. That's bad. But how do they sound? Also, how was that unboxing score? Uh, yeah. A brutally beaten up box wrapped in loose cellophane, a nasty plastic tray inside, and literally nothing else. Did I use a saw to rip it open? Yes. Did the box lie to me with the picture on the front? Yes. Poor show. Alright, let's turn these idiots on. Is that the power button? Power on. Power on, she said. Uh, which is left, which is right, who knows, who cares. Play some music. So it's basically all bass. Bass, if you were sitting in another room listening to bass next door. The word I would use to describe them is distant. It just sounds like you're you're sitting really far away and like I said, through a wall listening to music. They're not good. How much did we pay for these? What, 12 pounds? Something like that. I would not pay 12 pounds for these. They're not even comfy. It's almost like they were made for children's ears because the ear cups are just so small, but they fit my head. I've got a feeling these were made purely to trick people into buying them because they do look like AirPods Max. So no, yeah. I could hear the music a little bit. You could hear it. What, what, number one. Okay, and they also bleed music. That's excellent for over ear closed back headphones. That's not what you want. You also don't want a van outside your recording studio. <laughs> oh, 
why I had an ultra zoom. <laughs> Just close up disappointment. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently not. Okay. Yeah, I feel like these were made to trick people, especially because of this packaging. Because think about it, if you look at the packaging, on the side here, it's got a tick box. So it's going to tick off which, which color is in here. None of these are ticked because I got it online, but if this was in a store and it had the tick on it, you're looking at genuine AirPods Max on the front. I mean, it says P9. I mean, if you buy them, you're an idiot. You open them and you get this. These are definitely made to rip people off. Something like, like say the AirPods or even the, the watch that I'm wearing, I don't think we're made to trick people. I think they were just made to be a cheap alternative, like a very, very cheap alternative, but not in a spiteful or malicious way. I, I really don't like these. This stuff, I love this. Okay. Oh, oh, yuck. Oh, what? No, don't like these. But they fit. They're a horrible silicon material and they kind of feel like, I don't know, flesh is the, is the word that came to mind there. I feel like they're going to pick up dust and hair really quickly. Pen, AirPods, another pen, watch, headphones, case, and my sanity all laid out in front of you. Uh, this was an interesting experience. Robin, watching this, which one would you pick to choose? Probably the watch. I would agree with you on that one. The watch, yeah. Yeah. It's a Good, cheap alternative if you need it. Just something to tell the time as well. Yeah. And you can connect it to your phone. Well, have a watch. There you go. Enjoy your watch. I will stick with my awful headphones. No, I won't. I won't. Some final notes. The tag did indeed work. I had to restart the setup, but once it was working, I was able to track Robin when he went for a hike in the Scottish Highlands. It didn't live update, but did update every 20 minutes to half an hour, give or take. The watch does indeed root calls, and even plays music over Bluetooth. It sounds awful, but what do you expect? The styluses surprised me the most. The tiny 88 pence thing didn't even function like you'd expect. The pen shape is purely for <clears throat> aesthetics. You're actually meant to use the other end to do anything with it. Weird, weird choice. And the proper Apple Pencil knockoff does one thing that the real deal can't even claim to do. It works on a phone. The real pencil is limited to iPads, but this thing, to my total shock, isn't. Honestly? Recommended. Well, that was interesting. If you found that interesting as well, then go ahead and like if you like it, subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Once again, thank you for watching. This video was a little different than usual, but I'm excited to see how this channel turns out from now. It's a new era, so subscribe to keep up to date with the journey.